In this video, we will explore the different configurations of geothermal energy systems and exactly how the technology works. There are multiple ways to configure and install a geothermal system's connection with the Earth. The Earth connection can be either an open loop system, which uses groundwater, or a closed loop system, which continuously reuses the same water antifreeze solution. For closed loop systems, the options are to have a horizontal, vertical, or pond lake loop system. The site will typically dictate which system is the best for the project to provide the best solution for heating and cooling your commercial or residential property. In either case, the goal is to provide a liquid that has been tempered by the earth for the heat pump to use, gather the heat from in heating mode, or reject the heat to in cooling mode. Let's take a closer look at how a geothermal energy system works exactly. For the purpose of this video, we will be focusing on a vertical closed loop system. There are three main parts of the geothermal system, the earth connection, open or closed loop, the refrigeration system, and the distribution system. The process begins with the sun warming the surface of the earth. Water is circulated through pipes in the ground and gains heat from the comparatively warm earth. The warmed water then travels into the geothermal heat pump and the heat is collected from the ground by the refrigerant in the heat pump. As the refrigerant is heated by the water, it evaporates into gas. Then, that gas carries the collected heat to a compressor to be compressed, which increases the temperature of the gas even more. The hot gas then carries the heat to the distribution system heat exchanger, where it easily releases its heat into the forced air or radiant system to condition the home or business. With the heat being transferred to the distribution system, it can be moved throughout the building to provide heat all winter long. The distribution system can be done with a traditional forced air delivery system or a combination of forced air with radiant floor system, whichever the building design calls for to heat the building. Once the refrigerant gas releases its heat to the distribution system, the gas cools to a liquid and travels back to the earth loop heat exchanger to absorb the heat from the earth connection and the cycle is repeated. We hope this video has provided a better understanding of exactly how a geothermal system works, along with the possible configuration for your home. If you are ready to go geo, feel free to search our partner directory and request a free consultation.